everyone welcome back to the site first things thank you for all the support watching my videos following subscribing i'm blown away by it all it's it's absolutely amazing and i've got something really cool for you today i've got a piece of software seo writing ai now full disclosure they've asked me to write do this video for you and i said yeah absolutely it's really cool i want to show it off to you so uh, so yeah if I thought it was no good, you, I wouldn't be talking about it. I've had a play with it. I've created it some blogs and I think it's really cool and I'm going to use it. So I'm, I'm letting you know all about it. It's, it's very good. Now let's have a look at what you can produce. Look at this blog with pictures, with loads of citations, information, embedded videos that work. You can just click on it, you go to YouTube loads of information how cool is all of this but i'm going to show you how to produce that with one click it really is very very cool let's get into it okay let's jump right in here we are on the seo writing dot ai dashboard and it's been updated recently and i can tell you this is this is the home for you to create blogs and it really is a game changer You'll be aware that in I think in March 2024, Google made some changes to the way that they looked at content uh, with a focus on content that was not written by AI. So humanized content. And this software really gives you the ability to make sure that you meet those requirements for Google and you get the SEO recognition. You get the recognition for your content that you should that you deserve. All right, there's lots here. It's a welcome professor. There's lots here. Humanize a tool. Uh, you can create documents, individual documents, etc. Uh, and you can create bulk documents as well. But we're going to focus on one click blog post. This is cool. This is what we'll focus on. So we just click here. And it brings you into the, the title uh, of your blog. So let's pick a title of interest. I want to write a blog that's important to me, uh, and so I've, it's a blog around the, the leadership. I've, I've talked about it in previous videos around the, ne the need for leadership in AI. So I've put in as my sort of main keyword the leadership uh, around our use of AI, and you can generate a title. So it's generated a title, Leading the Way, the Leadership Around Our Use of AI, like that. Always change it later on. And then you go into the sort of settings of of your blog. So I want UK English, of course, a medium sized article. Let's just have a look. So 600 to 1200 words, uh, extra small, small 1200 to 2400, medium 2400 to 3600 and large up to 5200 words. Let's go for a medium one. OK, I've moved myself up so you can see what's on the screen. Uh, that's the most important thing. So you have here tone of voice. And I think what I generally want is friendly, informational, inspirational, informational. We'll try that. And, and then you get a choice of AI models. And let's have a look at what we've got. We've got GPT-40 Mini and GPT-40, Anthropic Claude 3 Haiku, which is their small model, uh, GPT-40, last model, Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet, new model, GPT-4, Turbo, Anthropic Claude Opus. So we will go, why don't we go with Anthropic Claude Sonnet? There we go. And it tells you the sort of model quality. Now, what you can do, if you've got a version of a large language model where you have an API key, what you can do is add in your API key and then it will use your large language model instead of the ones that are uh, linked to the software. So, but I'm going to use uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. A point of view. So here you can tell it whether you want it to write it in, a, in the first person, I mean my, mine, etc., or plural, second person or third person, I. 
prefer first person. I think it just makes it a bit more positive. And the target country. So uh, I think United Kingdom for me. And then you've got this humanized text, which is really interesting. Go in and have a look. Enhances readability. There's a, there's a nice uh, description of what it does uh, in terms of without readability and with readability, etc. So we can go back. No AI words removal, basic AI words removal, extended AI words removal. Okay, so we can ask for, well, let's ask for extended. And then you can choose the readability. And you go fifth grade, easily understood by 11 year olds, right up to college, professional, extremely difficult to read. I don't know who wants to read something that's extremely difficult to read unless perhaps if you're an academic. But uh, I think eighth and ninth grade is really helpful. This is brand voice. And basically what you can do is you can select a brand voice. Uh, and this is the brand voice that I've uh, selected. And what you do is you it's 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 very cool. You can, let's go in and create one. So what you can do, let's let's have a look. You can add some text in to the brand voice. So if you've got some bits of writing that you particularly like, you can just cut and paste it into there and then create the brand voice. You can do a web scrape. So and that's what I did. So I put my blog site in the professor info and it went and did a scrape of that site and then produced a brand guidelines for my blogs. Uh, or you can upload a file. Let's go back to where we were. So I'm going to choose my own brand voice, which was which I call Tech Educator Guide. OK, this next section is around uh, details to include, and it gives you a whole series of different samples, things you could you might want to include. Uh, but I've I've suggested that includes for this blog uh, about leadership of AI includes the threats of AI on society, how leadership will be important. Our spelling might be important. Our leadership will be important in guiding and democratizing the technology. How we must concentrate on doing good. How we will need to regulate against the risks of doing bad. That's that's what I want this blog to cover. And then you get this media hub. Uh, do I want AI images? Yes. So let's have let's have two AI images, and we want our image style to be what we want: photo, cartoon. Cubism, fantasy, cinematic, abstract, impressionism, surrealism, anime, comic book. Let's try, let's try impressionism. Uh, and then we get image size. You have a choice of lots of different image sizes. Happy to leave it at that. Uh, enter details or creative directions. So here you can add some additional instructions for your images. So I put in make the images relevant to the text, interesting and informative. And you can put a brand name in here. So I put in the professor. Include the main keyword at the first stage as, as alt text. Relevant keywords will be picked up and added to the rest of the images. Fantastic. So it will automatically do the SEO for me. YouTube videos. Yes. Uh, let's have a couple of YouTube videos and alternate image video. Yeah, do that. All media elements will be placed strictly under the headings. If disabled, the AI will make find the best placement. OK, and then SEO keywords to include in the text. OK, so uh, what I could do is go and do the SEO through ChatGPT or through Claude or through Gemini. Uh, but actually, because we've already put some information in, I can use this feature here that will generate some keywords for me. And it's given me the leadership of AI, AI governance, ethical AI, AI strategy, AI decision making, AI trust, responsible AI, AI principles, AI accountability, transparency. And if I want to add some other ones in, I can. Don't need to. Introductory hook or brief. So here you get to choose about the how you want the hook to be built. So you can have it as a question, a statistic or fact, a quotation, an anecdotal story or personal or emotional why don't we do question and then uh, a whole series of things do i want a conclusion yes do i want tables yes that's fine uh, do i want uh, three levels of uh, headings uh, lists yes italics yes quotes takeaways do i want takeaways i'm going to say no to that or no i might say yes to the takeaways 
a no to the frequently asked questions. Let's say, so if you have a WordPress site, you can put your, your URL in and it will link to all of the individual bits of activity in there. Mine's a Wix site, so it doesn't work for me on that. External linking, yes, I want number of links, one or two throughout, evenly throughout. Contextual enrichment, link attributes, no follow. Uh, ah, so that's so it doesn't take you out. And I can exclude some URLs. Don't want to do that. Connect to the web. Currently, your connect to the web is off, limiting to the pre trained data. So we wanted to go out and search the web to enrich the blog. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Source link at the bottom of the article is a list of sources will be displayed. Absolutely want that. So we want the link name and URL. Uh, the technology of real time search results enables the immediate acquisition of search findings, which are then utilized for article writing, real time search citations. Now, uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of uh, using citations. It gives us a chance to be able to check what's been written. So I'm definitely going to use that. Uh, exclude outdated sources. So I could say I only want sources from the last year. If specified URLs are encountered, they will be excluded. And no, I've got no URLs to uh, exclude. Create marketing materials based on the article for various platforms. So certainly, yeah, let's do a LinkedIn post. Uh, link to page, no link will be used in the creation of marketing materials, ensuring clean and appealing content. Or you can put, uh, you can have a placeholder, a WordPress link, or do a custom link. And then we have some, uh, we have the outline editor. So enable the outline editor for your article to gain the ability to add and personalize the outline. So you can do it in, in more than one step. Save to, you can save to different places can change where you have it saved to and you can publish it to a target website the website needs to be a wordpress website otherwise i want to go back to here this connect to the web what it does is give you this access to that that real depth of search which will improve the blogging really important okay so we've filled it all out let's go Basically, one click, see what we get. Now, as you can see, we have uh, two there. Just going to take a note of the time and won't make you sit through it. So AI and the Future of Work is, is a blog that I made yesterday, and that is up on the website. I'll put a link down below. Okay, I'm back. So it has taken, it took three minutes to produce this blog, which was nice. It wasn't even enough time to make a cup of tea. So let's have a look at what we've got. And there we go. We have leadership of AI shaping the future of business. I must have put the professor in incorrectly. I need to go through and change that. And there you go. And, and as you can see, everything has got a, a nice link to it. And you can go and click these links and it will take you to the actual page, which is just wonderful. I wonder if Forbes use this software. <laughs> as you can see, there it goes. So you can go back. It's got some videos in there. So uh, again, you can click on that and it will play the YouTube video. How cool is this? Adaptive humility, illicit responsibility. Of course, as I always say, you need to go through and check this carefully. Check that you're happy with it. But remember, it's been using the web and everything is reference so you can go and check and see whether that's actually what you want to say this is your blog remember you can't hand everything over to the ai but what a start got a little table there that is put in it's put a quote in for us governance building trust how cool is this look at that it has generated this blog put pictures in futuristic boardroom i like the pictures Collaborative partnerships, another quote with its citation. Talks about NVIDIA, partnership with HP and IBM. Really cool. Ethical AI. Thank you so much, Simon. You know, uh, conversation now. About a Leadership in the area of AI. So many of the audience just will keep the Ravi Kuma. At the end for Very cool. Just so good that it's gone out and found really specific 
links to videos that are relevant to this content. You get a conclusion, and then you get all of your links. As I say, worth going through, checking each one, making sure you're happy with them, making sure that you have everything you need. So there you go. We have in three minutes, a bit over three minutes maybe, created a blog. It gives you uh, the meta tags and the meta description, so you can copy that into your blog site. Really, really cool. And obviously you can edit, copy. Uh, and if you have a link to a WordPress site, if you put that link in, you can publish directly from here onto that WordPress site. How cool is that? One click and you're away. OK, let's just jump in and have a look at what this is all about in terms of cost. So you can get the free tool and write up to five articles uh, and uh, with five generations, 10,000 words. Fantastic. So go ahead, have a play with it. Write your first five articles for free and then decide whether you want to uh, upgrade uh, for $19 a month. You can write up to 50 articles. And then if you want the sort of professional pack, £79 a month, uh, up to 250 articles, uh, and you get uh, access to different GPTs and Claude Opus. You can have multiple brand voices, external linking, internal linking, uh, lots of lots of integrations, etc. There you go. And something else that I would like to show you here is the roadmap. This is really cool. I think uh, more websites should do this. So effectively, what it does, it gives you a plan of, uh, it gives you an idea of what they're planning to bring on next, what's in progress, that uh, in terms of developing the site and what is being completed. I love this level of uh, disclosure, I guess. So you know where your money's going, you know what they're doing with it, and you can put your own request in. I put in a request yesterday for Wix uh, integration, uh, and so hopefully that will come at some point in the future uh, and would make my life particularly uh, easier. All right, so if you want to download this software, if you want to, if you want to go to the software, there's a link down below in the description, so please, uh, please use that. And if you want 25% off, then use this promotion code here. That gets you 25% off. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.